2015 has been a year of great opportunity when it's come to the representation of ethnic diversity on television, especially for the global South Asian community which has seen great growth and opportunity in the United States. At this year's TIFF 15 festivities, Actra Toronto held an exclusive industry party celebrating diversity in Canadian entertainment, which has seen some growth for Canadian South Asian talent over the years. There was Zabe Sheikh and Sitara Hewitt in CBC's Little Mosque on the Prairie, Agam Darshi in CTV's Played, and now Hus Madhavji in CTV's Saving Hope. Anoki Media was an exclusive sponsor at this year's Actra Toronto party and was able to speak to various South Asian talent from the Canadian entertainment field to talk about the challenges faced in diverse ethnic representation in mainstream media and entertainment. Anoki, again, is a proud media partner for the ACTRA party this year, happening during the Toronto International Film Festival. And the party here tonight is celebrating diversity. And I know that's our mandate at Anoki, too. From our perspective as a media company is that a huge part of what we showcase and what our various platforms um, actually do is to support the film, the TV, the art, the theatre, and all genres of the disciplinary art world. So to be a part of that, to partner up with an organization that is focusing this year on that diversity quotient is a really important part of our mandate as a company. So tonight's Actra event is celebrating diversity. Yes. Tell me how important it is to have this event happen to celebrate and promote diversity and for it to happen during TIFF. TIFF is one of the most important times in the entertainment industry here in Canada. The world descends upon Toronto and part of what makes Toronto so special is that the world lives here. And a party like this, an event like this, it's more than just a party, is really an opportunity to celebrate all that we are as Torontonians, as Canadians, and as an industry. We, as an industry, are reflected on people's screens across the country, and if we don't support and promote the diversity on those screens, then people in Canada, people abroad, they don't necessarily know what we are all about. And I think an opportunity like this today is just, it epitomizes what we are as Torontonians and as Canadians. What do you think the challenges are when it comes to diversity and entertainment? Oh man, that's a complicated question. <laughs> um, I mean, I think it's been, uh, it's been something that's been growing and been noticed uh, over time for a long time. And I think now we're starting to see a big shift in especially television. So you're getting shows like Blackish, like Scandal, like Fresh Off the Boat. So people are realizing that it's important to have uh, diverse people in leading roles, not just as the best friend, not just as a pizza delivery guy, because it's important to reflect back the society that we have. And you know, absolutely. if we're talking about business, obviously China and India are starting to emerge as superpowers. So I don't think that hurt in terms of advertisers starting to get behind a certain kind of show in a certain demographic. And I think what happens, honestly, is that people start to realize being like, oh, brown people have money. Asian people <laughs> have money. And yeah. they want to see things. Yeah. And so what happens is someone took a risk, not even a risk, they said we want to do colorblind casting. And you put it on there and people see, oh, these are characters that happen to be brown and not just are stereotypically brown, they're regular people. And so it's these people who decide, like, no, we want to make it work. They push us for, for these auditions, and it's a great opportunity. Challenges is still trying to get the producers and directors to really, truly buy it in here in Canada. I see more, to be quite honest, in the U.S., um, from what I read and what I see. But we got to push it, continue, and we got to vocalize it, to be quite honest, here in the Toronto market. The, the viewers out there are Chinese, are, are East Indians, are Africans. We need these faces out there um, to help drive stories the real stories and to make it authentic. Now you're in the entertainment business. You're representing us brown folk in the mainstream world. Tell me how important it is for you to be here celebrating and promoting diversity. This is probably my favorite party of tip. We all know we're, we're Canadian entertainers. Nobody's a Matt Damon in this room. We know that coming in. And then we know just if you look around the room, it's such a celebration of diversity, just visually. Never mind even asking people what their background really is and what their diverse experiences are. Just 
looking around this room, it's the most diverse party at TIFF. That's where I fit in the most. That's where I love to be. I think more and more as time goes on, people are realizing that what is on television isn't actually reflecting the real world. So as time moves on, I think you can see more diversity happening on television. And I think it's amazing. I think it's great. I think it shows an authentic voice and a real voice in film and television. It's very important to have opportunities because acting is like playing basketball. When you first start out, you take a couple shots, you're gonna miss. Everyone's gonna miss. Doesn't matter if you're black, white, brown, yellow, tall, short, doesn't matter. But the more shots you take, the more that ball is gonna go inside the net. For me, diversity is important because we need to have the opportunities to become better and to become successful. We don't just appear, we become. So the more chances we have, the more roles there are for us, the more people are producing things like that, the more we're gonna have an opportunity to be great, to be better.